Hey crafty peeps, today's video is all about the new Dollar Tree calendars. I've come up with 10 ways for you to make DIYs using them. So let's just get into today's video. I'm taking this locally grown calendar here and I cut out the barn. Um, I thought I was recording, but apparently I was not. <laughs> so, but you know how to cut out. And then on the front, which is also the same image, I cut out the windmill there because I want that thicker part of it. And then I took one of these corrugated metal signs from Dollar Tree and I mod podge uh, this down, the barn down on there and I press it into the grooves um, to keep it with that corrugated look. And then using my heat gun here, I just get some of the bubbles out of the Mod Podge. Now using some uh, 3D foam tape from Dollar Tree as well, I'm going to put it on the back of this windmill and add it to uh, my design here. And you can see my barn is a little off center and that's because I knew I was gonna be adding this as well. So now I've got some depth some more depth to this project. Now you can leave it here and add a little uh, tassel to the top here, you know, so that you can hang it or you can go another step further. So I'm gonna grab this black canvas from Dollar Tree. Now this particular one, you can see it wasn't wrapped very tight, which, you know, was kind of a bummer, but. I'm gonna put it on here, decide which direction I want it to go. Um, because it's not wrapped tight, I'm definitely gonna go with the vertical. And I'm just gonna use some super glue and hot glue to uh, glue this down onto um, the canvas here. And then you can see that buffalo check ribbon at the top. And I will go ahead and wrap that around the bottom and tie a little bow. And then this project um, is complete. I love using the back of the calendars. There's really a lot of options that you can do a little smaller. So I'm gonna grab my two inch hole punch uh, and that way, or I should say circle punch, and then I'm going to cut out a bunch of these. I actually end up going through a couple other calendars as well to get as many options as I could. And what I'm gonna do here is I am going to make a little well, it's going to be a calendar sign, <laughs> like a little thing for your uh, tabletop, desktop that you can use uh, throughout the years and change out the seasons. We see these kind of projects a lot, but I am really, really excited with how this one turned out. It's actually one I will keep and use. <laughs> Another uh, nice thing here too, um, with this particular hole punch, um, you have to cut pretty close. So this is a new home sign from Dollar Tree. It comes just like this. It's absolutely beautiful. Like you don't need to do anything to it. You can see it has a white side and a black side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a magnet over the O. And then I'm gonna add a magnet to each one of these uh, images that I cut out. And now I can switch it out for every season or just have like an everyday one with some of the farmhouse. And as you can see here, I have the cutest little calendar sign. Now you can see up at the top there on the top right, you can see one that's squared. The calendar is the exact same size as the squares. Like, I don't even know how that happened. So you can use the squares as well if you don't have a hole punch. Um, I will link one down uh, in the description if you need. Um, again, you can turn it over and you could use the black side if you like some of the images with the black or you could just keep it with this side. Um, I think you have a lot of options here. 
Now, if you need a place to um, store all the magnets, of course you can just stack them on top of each other and, and set them in a drawer. But if you want something a little bit more organized, I grabbed one of these metal signs uh, from Dollar Tree as well. And then I just laid down all the magnets so they are in one place. This is definitely my favorite image from all of the calendars. That cow is just so cute. And you get two of them because you get the cover and you get the page inside of the calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and rip this one out. And again, I'm gonna cut around the cow. Now, I cut around a lot of the images in this video. I find it therapeutic. I just sit on the couch while I'm watching TV and I cut them out. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna use this charger plate from Dollar Tree as well, and I want him to sit right along the bottom here of where the circle hits, so I'm just gonna indent that down in so I know where to cut. Um, actually, I think I think all black and white cows are females. Is that true? Because aren't they milk cows? I feel like the brown cows are like meat cows. I, I don't know a lot about farm life. I'm a city girl. <laughs> Um, and also throughout this video, I'm going to show you different ways to adhere down. You've got Mod Podge, of course, and then um, in this one, I'm going to use a glue stick. I will also use double-sided tape um, just to give you a lot of options. It really depends on what your surface is, um, how if you're going to hang it, if it's tabletop. I mean, it's really going to just depend. So in this one, the glue stick worked perfect. I like it because you can move it around um, to fit it onto this plate and you're not worried about it being a little bit too wet like with Mod Podge. So you can have your stripes going up and down or diagonal. I went with it up and down. Then I went into my alphabet sticker uh, collection and I am going to put a saying on here. Now here is a little fun fact. Back in like 2006, Dollar Tree sold scrapbook supplies and I have been a scrapbooker my whole life, pretty much, I, my whole adult life. And these stickers here that I am kind of ripping apart, uh, they're from 2006. So if you're a uh, craft hoarder, I hope this makes you feel better because uh, apparently I am as well. <laughs> Uh, whenever I use stickers or rub-ons, I always cut them out so that I can place them right where I want them before I stick them down. And so um, with this one, I used all the same font except for the word moo, and then I used a different font sticker. So this says, I'm not a moosed. <laughs> And there is just something about that cow that has that look to me. Um, there's all sorts of cute, funny cow sayings that you could use. Um, my daughter said this one is going in her room. Um, there's a lots of ways uh, that you can hang these, but the preferred method I use is I take a command strip. So you could do this um, and hang it, or you can just put a command strip on the back, which is what I do. I really like these Velcro ones um, because you can kind of play around with their placement. So I just stick this down, and then when I'm ready to put it on the wall, I unstick that backside, and I just stick it right to the wall. I use these for a lot of the things that I hang. Okay, again, I'm going to use the back of this calendar. This time I'm going to use that piece at the top. Look at that magic. Uh, yes, I bought two calendars of everything. So I got this little wood uh, cutting board from Dollar Tree, and I painted it with black chalk paint. And then I'm just using my double-sided tape runner here and adding this image uh, to the front. Um, it was just a hair too big, and so I'm just gonna flip it over and with my X-Acto knife, just cut off that little bit of excess. Uh, because this one was a little thicker, I didn't use my sanding method that I normally use. That I use more on the paper. And then I'm just gonna add a little bow to the top. This was was super simple. This is perfect for your tear tray in your kitchen or, or wherever you might want to set it in your kitchen. And I just think this one turned out super cute.
I love this home sweet home image, but I am, even with the lemons, but I am going to cut it a little smaller. I'm gonna use this bottle cap, metal bottle cap sign from Dollar Tree. And as you can see, it fits perfectly there in that middle. So we're just gonna make a cute home sweet home sign. Now, um, I do make an error. And I love to show you guys when I make errors because, you know, I am not perfect. <laughs> And so what I meant to do is lay the this on top of the bottle cap, but then I had a brain fart and I put it down on the front, which obviously you don't want to do because you want the image to be on there. So, oops. But it's okay. I salvaged this. And I just had to laugh at myself. And so... I go ahead and I lay it on top. Now I'm just gonna quickly cut the excess off around it. I was kind of sad to see the lemons go because I really do love the lemons. Um, I think this would have been less wrinkly had I done it the proper way, but as you can see, it, it does turn out. <laughs> but I wouldn't put Mod Podge on the top of this um, because I'm going to use rub-ons and they don't work as well um, because the Mod Podge on top. So don't put Mod, uh, Mod Podge on the top, put it on underneath. <laughs> and then using my sanding block, I'm just gonna sand off the excess. This is gonna give you the most perfect circle so you don't have to try to cut it out uh, and get that you know good cut because it is hard to cut a circle. And then once I get all the edges sanded off, like I said, I'm going to use some rub-ons from Dollar Tree and add that as well because you can see there's a little bit of leaf showing still on this and I looked in my stash and Dollar Tree did me so well because they have the matching leaves. Like they are the exact same color, the exact same leaves. And so I am just going to add these uh, to the front, just give this a little bit more excitement. And then I'm going to add a bow and this project is complete. This is gonna be a super simple one. Uh, I had this sign in my stash, don't know where it's from, um, but I liked the shape of it and it worked out perfect for this image, the fresh co brewed coffee. Now I went back to get a second one of these calendars because at first I only got one because what I wanted to do was cut out another uh, just where the, the mug says coffee and, and make it 3D so that the the coffee cup, you know, popped up off the sign. Um, when I went back, which was weird because I wouldn't think this particular calendar would have been one of the more popular ones because they had all the other ones still, but not this one. So um, I was gonna do that. And if you like that idea, grab two of these ones and just cut out that extra coffee. So on this one, I'm just going to use um, the glue stick and glue it down. And when I sand uh, the edges off, I'm gonna use a nail file on this one because the big block, you can't really get into those crevices as well. Of course, you could use some sandpaper as well. I added a little bow and then a little loop at the top to hang it and I stapled it down because this sign is thick and then that made this project complete. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, this was an old uh, fall piece that I had made like three years ago and I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart because I don't have my fall stuff out yet and but I did have this piece out. So using this calendar is absolutely gorgeous. The cover just made me go oh we're coming into fall and that is just the most gorgeous scene right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that down and I'm going to also use its matching counterpart um, inside of the calendar as well. I'm going to make two projects with the same image. Um, it's so gorgeous. We don't, where I live in California, we don't have fall like that and it's so pretty. So I'm taking one of these pumpkins that I popped off of that old project and I'm deciding where I want it on here and then I am going to draw around it and cut it out and then I will put that down on top of that pumpkin. There was no need to take off the old paper. This this works perfectly. So I'm just going to add it down there. I had to trim it a little bit at the top. This one already, I like I said, it had the like, bur, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like jute twine around the top. Um, so there's a step that you could do as well. Mine already had it, but I just wrapped jute all the way around the top when I originally um, made that stem. Okay, once I get this um, glued down there, or I should say taped down, I'm going to course sand the edges. Then I'm going to grab that harvest um, piece that I popped off as well. This is all from Dollar Tree and that pumpkin was Dollar Tree. This harvest is Dollar Tree. Uh, and so I'm going to take some chocolate brown paint and I'm going to dab it on because this is metal, but I'm going to dab it on and by doing that it kind of gives it a little bit of texture and then I am going to dry it and put it aside there for a second. And then using the old um, stand that it came in, again, that is that pumpkin. I'm sure you've seen it at Dollar Tree. It's been there every year for like the last four years. So they're really easy to find. So I'm going to glue it back down into that bottom. This was the bow that was on it previously, so I figured let's just repurpose it. But you could use any ribbon you like and add it or, or forego the bow if you like. So like I said, I'm going to glue it down into the base and glue the harvest word on it. And then that makes this project complete. Carry motion, the weight of the ocean. Keep climbing mountains, too blind to see. It's not getting you closer to where you wanna be in your life. The weight on your shoulders, time to put it down. You fall and you break, you got battles to take, I'm watch you figure it out. Okay, using an old canvas that was in my old bedroom when I had super bright colors, I'm going to cut that canvas off so that I can use this frame. These frames work great on these calendars. Like I said, I think this is a 12 by 12. Um, ooh, actually, it might be an 8 by 8. I'll have to measure it. <laughs> but I'm going to just put it over this um, as you see here. Now you could leave it as that natural wood or you can stain it like I do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of do this like a paint by numbers. I'm just going to add some of these yellows and gold and rust colors to this print. And this is just going to step up this art a bit. I'm not going to do the whole thing. You could if you want. Wanted. I just thought I would do um, kind of the trees in the foreground um, and just give it a little something extra. So I'm just patting it down. You don't need any fancy techniques. I'm literally just patting it down with a small brush and then I go in. Uh, so I started light to dark and then when I went to the other side I did it opposite. I went dark to light and so I'm going to recommend you go dark to light. That seemed to work better. Because when I did it this way, I had to do more blending. Um, where if you were doing it dark to light, you start with that dark and then you build on top of it. Um, you know, sometimes we forget. <laughs> but this was really fun. Like I said, you you don't have to be an artist. You're just kind of like painting by numbers. And I'm kind of mixing some of the colors and going back through it. Yeah. You fall and you break. You got changes to make. See the light at the end of the tunnel. 
It's right there, I just look up and follow. Take one step at a time, babe, I'm with you. All the way. So baby, get up, 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 up. No, don't you stay down, 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 down. Now lift yourself up, 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 up. Baby, baby, get up, oh, baby, get up. The bright is shining. The darkest sky is getting. So I took the frame and I used Waverly's Antique Wax and I love how it looks. It made this frame look so high end because you can see the wood grain through it. And then using the insert, there's a little cardboard insert that comes in the middle of all the calendars. So once I get this all um, des decided where it's going to go, um, I'm going to go ahead and just using uh, my glue stick again, I'm going to glue it down to that piece of cardboard. And then it's just a matter of gluing it down to the back. And now I have this like beautiful piece of fall artwork. I mean, look at that. Oh, I just want to go for a walk. Right now, um, it is 107 where I live. So that that little roadway there looks so magical to me. Again, look at that frame. That frame turned out so good with that antique wax. Like, I just can't get over it. I love it. Um, so if you're at cross shells or anything where you see canvases, like, pick them up because you can use the frames. Like, I use canvas frames all the time. Like I said, then just using some hot glue, I go ahead and glue that back on. Just what it takes You're in control here Don't you forget You fall and you break You got battles to take on Okay, I pulled this image out of the calendar and then I just had a good time cutting it out while I watched TV. And then I grabbed one of these wood circle signs from Dollar Tree and added the antique wax around the outside. And this is a simple project. These are these are the ones that are gonna be the easiest. The, the last one where you can just take the square out and put it on a square canvas, or a lot of these images are circular and they fit absolutely perfect onto these circle signs from Dollar Tree. So I'm adding, as you saw, I only added Mod Podge to the middle because now I'm going to, with a small brush, just kind of paint it on. Now, those brushes that come in the little kits, you know, that have some paints with them for kids, I hold on to them for things like this where I just want to have a kind of a cruddy brush. <laughs> And this is what it looks like all finished. And now I'm going to flip it over and I'm cutting out the other one from that same calendar and doing a Christmas one. So now I'm getting a double sided sign. I'm taking a second piece because uh, I bought two of the calendars and I'm just cutting out the joy and I'm going to put it down on a piece of like heavy duty like cardboard like I should say light cardboard or heavy duty paper. And I'm gonna just cut the letters out. So now they're gonna be nice and thick letters. And this is kind of what I was talking about with like the coffee one where you take the image again and then you can pop it up and give your project some depth. So that is what I'm doing here. Uh, again, just cutting it out and then I'm gonna use some 3D foam tape and add this joy to the sign. Now that circular sign, I went ahead and painted it white around the edges. Um, I kind of liked the idea of that joy just kind of blending in. Look at how beautiful that is just from a calendar. And again, I just enjoy cutting these things out and it's really not that hard. So I glue that down. And you can see off to the side there, I have these little foam mounting tape and it comes already cut for you, which is so wonderful. Um, I want it in a scrapbook thing, so definitely gonna be using them, but if you don't have something like that, you've got your uh, foam tape from Dollar Tree. And then I thought, how else could I spruce up this sign? And so I found myself some red glitter. Now this is Stickles. It's used in card making a lot, but I know Dollar Tree has glitter glue and that will work the same. So I am just gonna glitter up my little berries here and that finishes off this sign. You 
see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's right there, not just look up and follow. Take one step. All right, so using this calendar, um, I really liked this farmer's market um, calendar page here. And then I've had that kitchen measurement uh, sign from Dollar Tree in my stash for a while. It's actually so cute on its own, but we are going to add this um, calendar page to it. Now the whole thing cannot fit on there, so I am going to cut it uh, right below where it says market, and that is going to give us a perfect fit on here. So first I will cut that just to kind of give us a uh, a starting point and then I will flip over this like mason jar type sign and trace out uh, the size I need and then I realized I really do want it to kind of fit inside of those white lines that you see so once I cut it out and then I go back in and kind of measure uh, to make it smaller and then I kind of have to keep making little adjustments so that this image fits inside um, that white line that goes around the mason jar. I hope this video gave you so much inspiration on how to use the Dollar Tree calendars. I would absolutely love if you shared things that you made with the calendars over with me on Instagram. My name over there is dollar underscore underscore mom and you can just DM me. I'd love to see your creations. And until next time, happy crafting.